An effective habit will result in a small improvement each day. This daily improvement can turn into a very large improvement over one year. Imagine improving your English by 1% a day. You'll have much more confident English one year from now. Hi, it's Grant. The idea of creating habits is incredibly important. In this video, I'll discuss a little bit of the scientific methods behind habits and how you can really make these work and, and why they're so important. But take the time to create new habits for yourself. You're in a place right now for a reason and you want to be in a different place. So you've got to do something different. Start making new habits. You'll find some great information in this video. Quality is not an act, it's a habit. What a great quote from Aristotle. You understand the value of confident English communication. You've made a clear goal for yourself. Now it's time to make new habits to help you achieve your goal so that you can realize the value of confident English. My videos are full of different tools, tips, and strategies that you can use to improve your communication confidence. From these suggestions, you can do what one of my Japanese clients did. He committed to a new habit of using a great pronunciation app named Elsa Speak that I always recommend. You can find a link to Elsa Speak below in this video. He used Elsa Speak daily for over a year, which positively impacted his English confidence. It was amazing. Your journey to mastering business English, and, and maybe more importantly, gaining confidence in its use, is all about consistency. It's about building small, everyday habits that will lead you to the success you want. In his groundbreaking book called Atomic Habits, James Clear explains how tiny changes can result in transformative improvements. He walks through the following points about creating effective habit. The first point he makes is why habits matter. Our lives are a series of habits playing out daily. The language we use, the words we choose, and our confidence in speaking are all products of our habits. Shifting from where you are now to where you want to be requires changing those habits. The next point is that there's a compound effect. An effective habit will result in a small improvement each day. This daily improvement can turn into a very large improvement over one year. Imagine improving your English by 1% a day. You'll have much more confident English one year from now. One of Clear's biggest messages in his book is the idea of focusing on a 1% improvement each day. It applies perfectly to English language learning. His next point is to make it obvious. Start by making your English learning resources accessible. Have a book or app on your desk or home screen. Set reminders to practice your English daily. Make it attractive. Reward yourself for the effort. After a dedicated week of practicing, treat yourself to something you love, like chocolate. Make it easy. Don't set unrealistic expectations. Begin with just five minutes a day using tools like Elsa Speak, as my Japanese client did, can make practice straightforward and effective. Make it satisfying. Celebrate your small wins. 
each time you understand a new word or phrase or feel a little more confident in a conversation, acknowledge that. His last point is identity shift. And just as Clear emphasizes adopting a new identity to foster habits, you need to see yourself not as someone struggling with English, but as someone on a journey of mastering it. Remember, building a habit is a journey. It's not a destination. Each day is an opportunity to progress. So what can you do? Well, we're talking about creating new habits. So first, educate yourself. Dive deeper into the mechanics of habit building. Here's three great books on habits that I'm going to recommend to you, and you'll find these in the comments. The first is the book we just talked about, Atomic Habits by James Clear. Another great book is The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. And finally, Tiny Habits by B.J. Fogg is also a fantastic book. Document your journey. As you encounter tips, strategies, and techniques throughout my videos, or otherwise, write them down. Make a list of new habits that you'd like to adopt. With all important habits, this next one's very important. Commit. The journey is going to be challenging, but the rewards are life-changing. Commit to your new habits and see your confidence just soar. By understanding the science of habits and applying them to your English learning journey, you really set yourself on a path to incredible growth and success. I challenge you to create new habits. Comment below how you are going to create new habits. What habits are you going to create? Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.